Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Gooch for another video review, and this is another review for all you Mavic Pro owners out there, whether you have the Mavic Pro or the Mavic Pro Platinum. Um, same size drone, so this is going to be in your case as well. This is a uh, semi-hard carrying case from the guys over at Drone Pit Stop. Now, at first, I will put a link at the top of the, of the description so you can check this out. If you do purchase through the Amazon link, you are supporting the program, so thank you. But that said, uh, I actually, if you're actually wondering what all this foam stuff is, it actually comes with all the laser cutouts for the foam pad that's actually inside. Uh, and these are actually the foam cutouts that you actually pull out uh, to fit everything. So I've already have my drone in here. Um, and show you what I actually carry with it because I, I do use it. And uh, so you can see that everything is actually laser cut out. So this is, came out where the drone actually lays. But all the little pieces, you can see where the controller went. Um, these actually do come with it. So if for some reason you need to, to actually utilize maybe some extra foam somewhere, you can actually cut this apart and use it if you'd want to. But I just wanted to at least demonstrate that it did come uh, and you have to remove them yourself, which literally is not difficult uh, because it's just set it there like that. You just grab a hold of it and pull out. It's that simple. So how I have it in here, I have obviously the Mavic Pro Platinum drone here. Um, I have the remote controller. I don't always take the quad charger with me, uh, but if you do want to take it, you can. There is a space specifically for it. It actually has space for the desktop charger, the desktop, the two-piece uh, desktop charger, wall charger. However, I usually use this when I'm traveling. So I actually have the car charger in here instead. And then that gives me an extra space to put in some other things like a uh, uh, cleaning brush and uh, item for the actual camera to make sure that it's cleaned up for each flight, as well as extra uh, propellers, which uh, if there was one thing that I wish they had in addition to all the cutouts is there was a way maybe to get some propellers in here somewhere specifically. You probably could put some underneath the drone itself. Uh, I haven't actually tried. Let's give it a try. Let's put two. Let's put two down there and see what happens. Yeah, no problem. You could do that. Now, obviously, with uh, that possibility, you could alter the the propellers over a long trip. But um, could you put them down there? Yeah, you could. I just put them in here because I don't always take the desktop charger with me. Uh, the car charger is more useful to me when I'm actually traveling. And then obviously room for two spare batteries as well. Um, maybe if nothing else, if they actually were to uh, put something up here for the propellers uh, behind the pad, I think that would actually be a useful uh, feature to be honest, to, to add to it. Um, but as it is, uh, it has most of the stuff you need. Uh, if nothing else, you find a place to put them. Um, so that said, uh, how the actual bag works, uh, I like the design of it. I like the cutouts. It fits the drone perfectly. Uh, it is, to be honest, I would say very protective. Um, but I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer so you get a little bit more view of it uh, directly. So obviously you can see the car charger that I kind of have in here does push it off to the side a little bit. Uh, but it's designed for the actual desktop charger. And like I said, I just use the I use the car charger when I'm away, so that's the one I actually kind of just jam in here. And it works just fine as long as you get it in there, you're good to go. And then you can see the propellers that I have in there. I have two full sets, um, and then the controller and everything like that. So it all fits perfectly, and it's easy to get in and out because it's just foam, so you can grab around it. It's not a, a, a big deal, and you're definitely keeping everything protected um, when you actually close it. So that's that's the bag. Uh, what else comes with it? They do give you a 25% uh, off coupon for your next order. Uh, and then they do give you a nice drone pit stop sticker that you can place wherever you want to place it. I definitely hold on to these because I eventually find uses for them. So, um, But yeah, uh, it also is what they call splash proof, meaning that the, the zippers are actually water resistant. Um, it's not going to be submersion proof. So if you plug this into the water, it's not like the, the big hard cases. That are like the the pelican cases where they're completely waterproof this is not but it is splash proof obviously if it starts raining things like that you're not going to have an issue uh, but obviously keep an eye on how wet is it going to get right um, the carbon fiber look is awesome obviously you have the nice uh embosser uh logo from drone pit stop they did a really good job i like the bag a lot actually i have don't have a whole lot of gripes other than i wish that there was separate storage for the actual propellers so that they didn't get damaged so if there's if you're actually watching drone pit stop that's what i would ha highly recommend is put an additional spot in here for propeller storage even if it's just one pair that's all you really need for most things 
I keep two pairs with me just in case because I had enough space. Uh, obviously, if I was taking the desktop charger, I would not have two pairs in there. I'd probably just find a place to put one of each side, one of each side. So that said, if you have any questions or comments, post those in the comment section below. Please share, subscribe, like the video. Uh, if you hit that little icon down there next to the subscribe, you'll get uh, alerted every time I create a new video, which has been recently more frequently. And I have a lot more drone stuff to get through. So especially if you're a drone flyer, keep or stay tuned because I have a lot more coming. So that said, check out the channel for more videos. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.